Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Minnesota Twins game review. What a game that one was. I am very happy right now. The lead in the AL Central, by the way. Nope, just kidding. It's six games right now, at least, because Cleveland plays tonight. That is awesome. I mean, at this point, it is very, very difficult for them to come back. We do have to play them six more times, but we are sitting really well right now. Of course, getting a big, big win today. Clutch Max Kepler. I mean, you already saw it in the title. Two outs, bases loaded, bottom, top of the eighth inning. And he comes through, I think, with two strikes. But we are going to talk about that. Of course, the pitching and everything else that happened in this game. So stick around. If you guys do enjoy the videos, make sure to leave a like. Let me know down in the comments and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But guys, we are 33 games over 500 now. 85 and 52. Now, today was a little bit of a scare, especially, you know, our offense has been so good with two outs, with runners in scoring position. Today, they just weren't as good. And, you know, I've been talking about those stringing hits together. We didn't really have that today. So, you know, it was just kind of an iffy day. We still had 14 hits, right? It wasn't like we weren't hitting the ball. It just wasn't happening consecutively. We won 4-3. to three. We had 14 hits. They had 9. We also made an error. Not our best day, but we got the job done. Littell got his third win of the season. Rodgers got his 22nd save. And uh, other than that, we really did good. Um, like I said, though, we'll just go right to batting. 3 for 12 with runners in scoring position. Not our greatest day. Uh, really, we probably should improve that. Um, you know, day to day, of course, it's not going to be the same, but that's just not very good. We left 10 guys on base. So just a little bit different today from, you know, yesterday, even the day we lost when we still did well. We just gave one seven run inning, you know. But other than that, we came back. We did good. Let's go to hitting. Uh, and we're going to start in the eighth inning. Um, we were already up. Well, we were up. 2-1 to one in this game until the bottom of the 5th when they scored 2 runs, but we came back in the top of the 8th inning. This was the biggest inning of the game. Lamont Wade, he walks. Now, he is a rookie. Well, is he, yeah, he's a rookie, but he he was injured. You know, he was called up, was injured, then got called up again. Uh, part of September call-ups being off the IL. He takes a 5-pitch walk to lead off the game. That was awesome. Now, Luisa Rise, I couldn't ask for a better guy to be up after him, right? I mean... I was a little skeptical with this part of the lineup coming up, I'm not going to lie, but Wade takes the walk, that's perfect, and Luis Arise, you know, he's not going to strike out a lot, he doesn't, he takes a, a, a full count, and then I thought he was going to try to draw the walk, he kept battling off a couple of pitches, that was a really good at bat, but he singles, runners on first and second, then I got a little scared, Crone, he's been iffy, we know that Crone's been iffy, he strikes out, not good, and he, he did not look good up there, but then Cave, he works it. Strikes out as well. There's two outs. Adrianza comes up first pitch. He sees, though, singles. And guess what, guys? Bases are loaded for who other than Max Kepler. This was great. This was great. I, there's not a single person I would rather have up in this situation than Max Kepler. He gets himself into a fastball count. Absolutely destroys the pitch out to left field. Perfectly executed. Perfectly hit. And we score two runs on that play. It was a very close play at third base, too. Adrian's almost got thrown out. But he did not, and that means we scored two runs. That was the best hit, the most clutch hit um, that that was absolutely incredible. So it was not with two strikes. It was with, it was a 2-1 count. Um, there you go, though. There you go. That is the best. I mean, there have been some great hits this year, and that one's going to go very much underappreciated, but that is one of the best hits that we have had this year. Uh, and again, Kepler, who else would you want to have up? Maybe Cruz? That's it. I don't trust Rosario in that spot. I don't trust Crone. Um, maybe a rise, but of course he was on base already. Max Kepler, baby. The guy who's had two walk-offs. The guy who has helped us day in and day out and, and at the top of the lineup. He is the guy we needed in that spot, and he came through. We also scored two runs in the top of the second. We are already down in this game, one to nothing, of course, but we scored two runs in the top of the second. Luis Arise, he singles, um, or doubles, sorry, doubles to lead off the inning. Two more outs, Crone and Cave strike, or ground out line out, and then Adrianza hits his fifth home run deep out to center field. It was kind of left or right center field, but still, it got out there, cleared the wall, and boom, that put us up two to one. But Zimmerman, he looked really bad in the first two innings, really fell into a groove. I mean, from the third inning to the sixth inning, when he got taken out, he looked really, really good. Uh, and 
and we really struggled against him. We, there's a lot of weak contact. He kept the same thing going all day. All day, he was painting that outside corner, and we just could not hit it. You know what, though? I mean, that just happens sometimes, right? I mean, you're looking for certain pitches. You can't get good wood on it. You just ground out, pop, fly, you know, weak contact. And he did really well today. Um, and that's, I guess, all you could ask for is we came up when we needed to and got hits. Of course, it wasn't off of Zimmerman, but it was just, you know, we worked it. We stayed in the game. Our pitching got us in, it kept us in the game. And that's why we were able to compete in that situation. Now let's talk about pitching. Oda Rizzi really didn't do that bad. It was all the offense, like I said, just did not come alive today in that middle part of the innings uh, when, when Zimmerman was still out there. Oda Rizzi, five innings. He did work a lot of pitch count, or like a high pitch count, 91 pitches. Maybe could have gone out there for the six, probably not in this type of close game, but five innings, five hits, three earned runs. That's really not that bad. I mean, considering he didn't walk anybody and he struck out seven, Let's go look at that, what was it, the third inning, I believe. He was mowing them down. His sixth, fifth, sixth, and seventh strikeouts came in the first, in the third inning, but all seven of them came in the first three innings. Uh, we're going to start with the first inning. Struck out two guys, gave up a home run to Miguel Sano, or Miguel Cabrera, sorry. That that was just a good, he, he opened up and turned on a 94 mile an hour fastball. That's fine, but struck out two guys. Then he struck out two more in the bottom of the second, so that's four, and then struck out the side in the third. Seven strikeouts in the first three innings. And then he, I wouldn't say fell apart a little bit, but kept, you know, a couple more base hits. In that fifth inning when he gave up two runs, it was just base hit, base hit, base hit. They had consecutive hits. We did not. And then he got through it. Of course, that was his last inning. But really, that's not a bad performance. And then our bullpen, they came in and did what they needed to do. Duffy did give up two hits, but he struck out the side in his one inning of work. Littell, he got the win in this game, gave up two hits, but got out of it. That's what he needed to do. Good defense behind him, right? Then Romo, he gave up no hits, no runs, no walks. He was clean through his one inning of work, did not strike out anybody, but weak choppers, uh, that's all he needed uh, to get the job done today. Nothing more you could ask of him. And then Taylor Rogers, baby, he shuts the door down. Uh, one inning, one strikeout, uh, and that's it. So, I mean, our bullpen, that is four innings of shutdown baseball. What more can you ask? They did give up a couple of hits. So what? They got out of it. Good defense. We did make an error. It was Kate, but you know what? He made up for it. He made a freaking fantastic play in the outfield, diving for a ball. You couldn't ask for more. I mean, like I said, I love Cave right now. He, he's he been hot. Uh, did not have a good day yesterday. Did not have a good day today. Or yesterday, was it the good day? Or I don't know. He's been, he's been iffy lately, right? But Buxton, he's getting some work in. I like that. Keep Cave out there for at least a couple more games. I'd say probably in Boston. And then we can take him out um, if he still struggles there. But Right now, Cave has just been doing freaking amazing things in the outfield. Um, he's been good at the plate too. It's not like he's been slacking. Really, you know, building up to uh, to to be a part of an outfield. If uh, we decide to get rid of him in the future, not that we will, but I'm just saying that you know we've got a good backup in him, and and he's been playing really well. So let's go through the rest of the hitters. Kepler, two for five today, of course, with the two biggest RBIs of the game, the clutch hit in the eighth. Polanco, three for five today. He has increased that average up to 305 now. He has really been seeing the ball well lately. That's great. Not all of them are solid hits, but he's getting back to where he was at the beginning of the year, or it's just little hits falling every here and there. And they're going to you know, set up the next guy, set up Cruz, set up Rosario, and that is what really helps us today. Uh, Cruz went two for five. Rosario, one for five. And Garver, one for two. He had to actually come out of the game. Um, he, I, It was really weird. The ball went off the knob of the bat. For, I don't know who it was. But then it hit him in the, in the, in the face. I think he had a concussion protocol. They took him out for cautionary purposes. I hope he's back tomorrow. I hope he's okay. But uh, So a couple of other guys, Ostadio, um, Wade, Buxton, they got, um, they got some work in. That's good. A rise, three for four today. My goodness, this guy's still batting 340. Absolutely incredible. Scored two runs as well. Chrono for four, Cave over four. You know what? It's okay. Uh, Adrianza picked up the slack, though. He hit the home run today. Uh, and that was his fifth, of course. Two for four, two RBIs, and a run. So, really, that number nine hole, all the way back up to the, the, the three spot, I guess. All of those guys had multiple hits. Those four guys had multiple hits. Uh, and Rosario, Cruz, 
they still got or Rosario and Garver, they still got in on the action too, um, and Arise was good. We've been good, right? It just it wasn't like yesterday, but we got the win, right? That's what matters, and especially when Kepler can come up and get a clutch hit, that's good baseball. So we take the win, we take the series, we go to Boston, right? That's all we can ask for. Take one or two games there, um, and hopefully Chicago can help us out a little bit, right? So that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.